Hi, my name is Andy Liguori from Williams Toyota. We're back with another segment of the Do It Yourself series. Today I'd like to talk about your air conditioning. Springtime, it's starting to get a little warmer out. I we, We've gotten some calls on, you know, the, people not just getting enough efficiency out of their air conditioning system. First thing you want to do, make sure your settings are all the way to the cold. It says max AC, use recirculation. The recirculation button is there. You can tell it's on because the, the light is illuminated. What this does is it recirculates the air through the car. So you're not constantly cooling the warm air coming in. It brings the air in, cools it, and then recirculates it and cools it again. So your, your, your car doesn't have to work as hard cooling all that constant hot air. Now, I like it on feet and on the dashboard. Turn the fan up push the air conditioning button won't get cold unless you're utilizing the air conditioning system now one thing that I have found when people want to use the frost if you watch the, the light there when I turn it to the frost the recirculation turns off because the defrost has to use fresh air so we cannot get recirculation when, when we're on the defrost setting so to click it back to where you want it, you have to hit the recirculation button again to, again, to get the maximum cooling out of your system. And the recirculation just makes it not work as hard. Um, when the car is brand new, you don't have any problems. Everything should be working, you know, pretty chilly for you. As the car ages, you get a little, you get some miles on the car. There's a cabin air filter. It's a filter that it's a HEPA filter that filters the heating and air conditioning system. Everything that comes out of your vents goes through this filter. Now I'm going to show you how to check that and what to do if it needs to be replaced. That filter is behind the, behind the glove box. You pull the glove box down. Now there's a, little, there's a little plunger on the side that you have to unhook. You squeeze the sides of the, the glove box in and that releases these hooks so it'll drop down and it pulls right off. If you have a glove box full of stuff you want to make sure you empty it a little bit or you're going to dump it all out. Now under here there's a little door. Push the side of that door it pulls right off. Your cabin air filter is behind that door. Now this is a brand new vehicle so it, it should it should look like this. Um, you know you, you get little helicopters, you get dust, you get sticks, you get uh, sometimes even mice get in there and build a nest. So you want to make sure that that is clear. You put that back in. The glove box clips right back in. A little pressure to get those hooks back into where they... now. Now if I put the glove box up, see how fast it falls? That plunger on the side makes it open nice and slow so it doesn't bang you in the knees if it's full. And basically that's all, you, all we have for today. That cabin air filter we have available for all Toyota makes and models. Um, stop in if you need us for anything. Thank you.